Yes, bananas are a great source of potassium, which you need to make your cells work, but that makes them naturally a little bit radioactive. But before you try and hold up a bank armed only with an innocent smoothie, <laughs> bananas are not that radioactive. But that hasn't stopped someone coming up with the banana equivalent dose. The BED. <laughs> which measures how radioactive things are and compares that to the number of bananas you would have to eat <laughs> to get the same exposure. So I have made this into a song. What's the equivalent of... An x-ray at the dentist. About 50 bananas. And what's the equivalent of... Living in Cornwall. Yeah, that's 16 bananas. <laughs> and what's the equivalent of... Lying next to someone as you sleep. Only half a banana. <laughs> Speak for yourself. And what... <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> and what's the equivalent of... Eating a banana. That's one banana. <laughs> oh, I see. So what's the equivalent of... A hospital brain scan. 20,000 bananas. Speak for yourself. What's the... <laughs> and what's the equivalent of? Flying from London to New York. 70,000 bananas. That's 10,000 bananas an hour. Well, and I have to eat them all before I land. You can't get them through US customs. You're going to have to put them somewhere. <laughs> Speak for yourself. What's the equivalent of... The maximum dose for a radiation worker in one year. 500,000 bananas. That's half a mega banana. <laughs> or 1,400 bananas a day. So I can safely eat 1,400 bananas every day? No. <laughs> So radioactivity looks kind of harmless When you start measuring it out in bananas In actual fact it's more complicated So please don't use this for your health and safety Potassium in your body don't accumulate So please don't put radioactive stuff on your plate Unless it's a banana <laughs>